why are you considering the purchase of a HP 3D printer from XYZ? So we're considering it to uh, reduce lead times of injection molded parts that come from abroad and also um, help our development of new products and reduce storage. Um, particularly looking around our tooling to see if it can help with our jigs and fixtures. There's a replacement part, consumable parts, that type of thing, robotics. We're looking to potentially use it as consumable replacements as well. And, and will the 3D printer change your business? Yeah, we could massively, looking at the applications that they've showed us today. Why have you attended the XYZ seminar today on HP 3D printers? Well, what it is, we build uh, speed reduction boxes for, primarily at the moment, uh, combat robots, but we're looking at wider applications. And it's just a case of we're looking at options between going fully CNC rather than outsourcing and doing it in-house, or do we go and look at 3D printed options? And I think it's a case of at the moment we're trying to gauge you know, the strength of the parts because of what parts are generally being used for. It's very high impact, it's very high, very high energy. So it's a case of having seen products that the, the HP printer actually does make gives me a good idea of how is that going to compare to an aluminium part, for instance. Will it save you money? Yeah, hopefully. Um, reducing tooling costs, um, aging tools, you know, we don't have to replace them. With that as well, um, historical products we can just print out rather than keeping that tool around for, just for the sake of, of products. How would you compare the strength of a, a printed part and an aluminium part? It looks pretty comparable at the minute. I think um, at this very stage of time, I think the aluminium's probably still got the, the edge on strength, but with looking at the HP roadmap, they've got the materials coming in the future, I can see that changing very quickly.